And now for something completely different. Today I'm going to be looking at the ChargePoint HomeFlex electric vehicle charger. Now that's kind of a mouthful, but essentially what this is, is a quicker way to charge electric vehicles. And our family recently got a Chevy Bolt EV over the summer. And um, we've been living with level one charging for long enough and it's time to move up. So let's take a look. This is the new one. This is the ChargePoint Home Flex. I have trouble saying that. I know I'm gonna screw it up if I say it too many times. Uh, this is their newest one, the 2019 model. So this one will charge anywhere from 16 amps to 50 amps, uh, depending on what you're setting it to and also how you've got it hooked up. If you're using the traditional 240 volt plug, you're gonna get up to 40 amps if you directly wire it to your, um, not an electrician, I don't know, your box your outside box where you have all the electrical stuff outside your house or in your garage or wherever it may be. Um, then you can get up to 50 amps and that's what we're gonna go for. We're going to actually get one of our friends, uh, Jason, who is an electrician. Uh, he's done some work for me before in my garage arcade. He's put in some outlets and stuff. So uh, he's gonna come by and install this sucker directly wired so we can get the full 50 amps. But anyway, enough talking. Let's, uh, let's get it open real quick. So it is sealed. So that's good. And um, it was sold, I don't know if you can read that. It was sold as a NEMA 1450 plug, which I believe, again, I'm not an electrician. It's a four plug. This is a three plug, I think, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna remove it and hardwire it anyway. So it shouldn't be an issue. Well, that sucker looks new. Again, this is um, $6.99 normally, and the guy was selling it on eBay for $5.99. I don't know why I didn't ask. Um, and here, yeah, sure enough, here's that three-pronged, three-pronged uh, outlet that will get you up to 40 amps. So, if you already have an outlet with uh, this thing, NEMA 650, then uh, yeah, you're good to go. You can just wall mount it, put the sucker, um, you know, plug the sucker in, and, and, and you're good to go. Interesting thing here is um, you'll see that so I've seen some chargers where they'll invert this because. They know you're going to be mounting this on a wall and if you mount it on the wall this you know this is typically up and, and this is upside down so you're going to have to do a, a this type of deal or you know figure it out i don't know if you can flip this over easily but um yeah that's it's not going to matter for us because we're going to remove this and hardwire it but anyway that is the unit itself it's actually pretty small kind of hefty but not crazy hefty um Looks like it got, it has, I don't know. Is this, uh, I don't know what this is for. Is this plastic? I don't know if this is a heat sink or what. Um, seems like plastic. So I know that the, uh, oh, that's interesting. I know that the, I looked at the website a bit and at the installation instructions. And um, I know it's got some, oh, I haven't even looked at the, huh. I haven't looked at the instruction manual yet, but yeah. So you can actually hardwire to this stuff right here. Um, here's where the cable's gonna go that actually plugs into the uh, vehicle. Now we have an American Chevy Bolt EV electric vehicle and it's great we love it it's just uh it holds a lot of charge it actually has a 200 it's rated at 238 miles per full charge and while that's a long distance it um it's kind of hard to get that fully charged in one day i don't even know if you can um because it only comes with a level one charger which is essentially your 110 volt just standard plug into a wall and that's what we've been doing combined with some fast DC chargers that we see at, you know, various shopping centers, Walmart. Um, there's actually a lot of different brands of chargers and uh, ChargePoint's one of the main ones. They they do, of course, make, obviously, this home flex uh, charger, but they have a lot of kind of out in the wild at businesses of uh, charging stations. So you can use the same app, I believe, to make sure that 
you're charging at the correct time of day because I know some folks, um, for us it doesn't matter. Uh, I think we're paying like eight cents a kilowatt hour, but if you have like nights or weekends free, you may wanna set the charger up to charge only in the evenings or only on the weekends or weekends all day or whatever. Um, but you know, honestly, the car itself can handle that too. So that may be a feature that's kind of, eh, you know, it's nice um, if you have it, but you don't really need it. So let's take a look at this real quick. Um, charge point home flex amperage labels. So it just has, wow, there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of these. So I'm not gonna go into detail um, because I don't know how to install these things electrically. Uh, my friend Jason's gonna do it. So let's just take a quick look at the installation guide. I think it's just, um, so here's, here's some, some stats for you. We're charging at like 16 amps and we're doing about 12 miles, 12 miles per hour is what we're charging. So you can imagine getting up to 230 whatever miles of charge takes forever. So that's not ideal. Um, so here the circuit rate is 50 amps, you get 40, you get 30 miles. To get 50, again, you have to kind of, you have to do something, I don't know what, but you can direct wire to the box and then you can get the full 50 amps and then it'll charge up to 37 miles per hour, which is a big deal. That means every morning we'll be able to wake up and have a fully charged car. And when you have 238 miles or so, um, it varies depending on the weather. If it's cold or hot, it may get worse or sometimes better um, distance. But any, uh, here it is, there's different plugs. There's a 1450 and a 650. This is a 650, but again, we're gonna rip it off anyway and just use direct wire. So circuit rating, okay, so this is what we're going for here. Going for 80 amp or 70 amp circuit rating so you can get a max load of 50. And then there you see you can get 37 miles. Um, of charge per hour. So yeah, here, I already seen this uh, online. Um, bas basically gives you uh, kind of a little heads up on how to line up your mount points to get this on the wall. Um, we're actually install. this is an indoor outdoor model. We're actually installing it on the wall outside of our house because our garage is actually a garage arcade or it's going to be. Um, it's in the process of being converted. So we can't just drive the car into the garage and charge from here. So this has to be mounted on the outside. Um, but it is rated for outside as well. So it shouldn't be a problem. But we're going to have to mount this to brick. So I'll have to figure that out. So yeah, as far as I know, you just take your um, charge cable and stick it through the bottom hole here. And then as we saw earlier, you just hook them up to these three and that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, here you go. The hard part or the part where you need an electrician is uh, getting this hardwired to your electrical box or getting one of these 650 or um, 1450 plugs installed if you don't have one where you need it. Um, what is this? This is just another French and Spanish installer start here so oh this is a i guess this is meant for the um the electrical electrician people or maybe just the people that um do this for a living just do ev charging i'm sure if they do that for a living and they've done this enough times they don't even read the directions anymore i don't know what this is it says i'm charged for home flex i think here's a quick start guide I think that you can actually set this up with a charge point network because again, they do, they do offer standalone, you know, retail chargers, um, shopping centers and retail places, stuff like that. So I think you can actually add yourself to the network. And if you're comfortable with people coming to your home and using your charger, I think you can even set that up because as you notice, there's no buttons on this thing. Everything is app driven, which is kind of worrisome because what if the company goes out of business and they don't update their app or whatever, but ChargePoint has been around a while, since 2007, I think that's what it's been. I think that's what I read. Yeah. So it's been around a while as far as, you know, EV, that's a long time. So, you know, yeah, we're, I guess we're taking a, a chance that if the app goes bye-bye, then we can't use the charger. But 
from what I read, once you set it to the amperage you want via the app, then you just kind of leave it alone and you can charge going forward. Um, it has the, uh, gosh, I can never remember, the J1 something something plug, which is the standard plug for, at least for American vehicles. This must be the, yeah, so these are the, well, that's nice. Comes with the drill bit for the, uh, for the long ass screws to mount it to the wall. So you would probably want to mount it to a stud um, if you're mounting on the inside of your garage, but since we're doing it on the brick, probably not going to matter. We, we, might, not even, we might even need different mounting um, screws for brick. Okay, and this is the cable. It's pretty heavy. Um, very heavy duty, certainly. Again, this is indoor outdoor, and that's what the plug looks like. So yeah, pretty neat. It looks actually, I, you know, I was gonna go and, and grab the 110 plug and show you the cable for that. But honestly, it looks pretty much the same as this, except for on this end, it's got a standard, you know, three pronged 110 volt uh, plug. Nothing really fancy about it. And it looks just like this, it's just a cable. So uh, yeah, nothing too fancy about this. It might be a little thicker. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels heavy duty. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really it. So um, you got this, it goes in here. And then this goes to your box or to your plug. And that's it. This, um, I like this one design because it has, first of all, because it was 50 amps and not all chargers, a lot of them were 30 amps or 32 amps. And uh, as you saw on the manual, it makes a huge difference how much you know what the amps are on your charger as far as charge times so if you were going to get what well, we figured you know if you're going to get one you might as well get one that does the most possible um, besides dc fast charging you can't do a dc fast charger unless you have dc to your house which nobody does everybody has ac so that's kind of reserved for special um destination points for fast charging like uh we only have a, a few by our house that are fast chargers and uh, again they're all retail locations so yeah, it just rests in there. That's kind of neat. And then has a space for um, your cable there. You know, just like that. All right, that's it. That was it for um, just a quick look at the charge point. What is this called again? The charge point home flex electric vehicle charger from charge point. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoy stuff like this, let me know. Um, I might follow up with what it looks like after it's installed. But uh, anyway, I know it's been a while since I put out a video, so I got kind of excited when this showed up. And, you know, it's not video games, but it's still tech. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments or questions, you know, certainly put them below, subscribe and all that jazz. But uh, anyway, see you next time. All right, guys, here's a post-mortem. I did finally get it installed. My buddy Jason and his brother Jeff came out and installed it. Actually, Jeff ended up doing the install. Here is where we wanted it installed in the side of the house. This is actually in the left side of the house. So the front side of the house is to the right. And you can see the car start to appear here. There's a small little area to the right side of that electrical panel where we wanted to install it. And you can see there that's a little less than 14 inches. So that did kind of limit which chargers we could select to, to install there. Great thing though, there's a lot of chargers to choose from. But as you can see, a lot of those don't have a place to store the charging cable when you're done. You can see, like the, there's the one we got, it's got not only a place to, to put the cable, but a place to plug in the plug when you're done, unlike the original or older or different charge point, I don't know what that is. Um, so here is a boring picture of the electrical panel circuit breakers that I don't know, I, I, I thought you might find interesting for some reason. And um, as you can see there to the right, the car charger was actually put in on slots 14 and 16. Again, not super interesting, except for that you can see we put a 70 amp circuit breaker in there to try to utilize the entire, you know, to get the most use, most use out of the, the charger. And here it is installed. You can see it's directly wired right into the electrical panel. It looks very clean. They did a great job. And you can see that there's enough space to store the charging cable and for me, very important, a place to plug in the, the charge plug part, the part that plugs into the car um, so that it's protected from the elements because it is outside. And here we have the level one charger. I plugged it in at 1.44 p.m. on a Sunday and it's not going to complete its charge until 4 p.m. the next day. That's about a little less than half full on the battery. 
but here's the level two charger that we just installed. You'll see that it actually completes the charge fully at 6.30 p.m. the same day, a little under five hours. So that's a huge difference. So overall, I can definitely recommend the ChargePoint HomeFlex, but honestly, any level two charger is gonna be a huge improvement over a level one charger. So do yourself a favor. If you have an electric car and you haven't gotten a level two charger, definitely go out and get one, even if it's not this ChargePoint HomeFlex, because honestly, it's pretty expensive compared to the other ones. The Siemens is probably the one I would have gotten, except for we needed a smaller one. And honestly, I also like the fact that this went up to 50 amps if you could directly wire it. So if those are options that you'd like, yeah, the ChargePoint HomeFlex makes sense. In the meantime, enjoy this still photo of this asshole charging this Tesla parked crooked in front of I hope what's his house. Looks like a brand new house with brand new epoxy on the floor in the cleanest garage ever probably. Screw that guy. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, ask questions below in the comments or just comment, I guess it doesn't have to be a question. Uh, let me know you're out there. <laughs> if you like videos like this, let me know. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna revert back to my video game and technology stuff. That's, that's usually my wheelhouse. Till next time. Mm -hmm.